Hey friends, it's Aki Dearest. Now today I really wanted to share with you guys a story that I've been binge reading for the past... Six! Six hours for today, as of June 12th. The title of this comic is called I Love You. Now before I get into my reviews, my opinions, my thoughts, and just explaining what the heck is I Love You and if whether or not you should read it, I know you guys can see in the bottom left hand corner of this video it says included paid promotion or something like that. So I'm just going to begin by saying that the people over for the Webtoon app are the ones sponsoring this video where you guys can go read I Love You as well as hundreds and thousands of other comics that are updated daily and you can get it for free. Now with that being said, my review, my explanations, my opinions on this entire story are all coming from my genuine experience that I have completely caught up with I Love You so I know everything that has happened so far as of June 12th um, of what happens in this story and that I am now a genuine fan of I Love You and Kim Chi's story. I used to think that that was Kim Chi and then I figured out that the uh, play on words were very clever. But yeah, so beginning, what is I Love You? I Love You is a comic made by Kim Chi, which which follows the main girl, Shine. Shine is a high school girl who grew up with a rough past. Her parents have divorced, as well as other events which I can't spoil right now, but let's just say that being in high school, she doesn't really prioritize a lot of other things other than these. Herself, her stomach, her father, and school. The story currently takes place where the only people living in the household are just Shine and her father. Not a lot of money to their name. So I'm going to be showing clips featuring myself and Sea Dog VA. Please keep note that all of these clips are just condensed down panels and not the full version. Enjoy. Uh, 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 um, no. That was way too harsh. The poor guy, you could have at least done it nicely. Rejection is rejection. I make no exceptions. Uh, you just don't get it. Imagine all those cute half-German babies. Whoa, slow down. I've already got my hands full with my cat. And babies. She's not really interested in relationships. She's not really interested in making friends. And she doesn't really care about what people have to say about her. Given her rough past, I guess you could say that she's become sort of numb to everything. So throughout the story, Shine then encounters other characters that try to change that. Yeah, so her friends decide to invite her to a little party that one of the dads is holding and it's masquerade theme. They decide that they really want her out of her bubble. This mask right here, do you think it looks cute? I think it looks cute. What's it for? Oh, it's for this party the company my dad works for throws. It's masquerade theme this year. You wanna come? Maya's gonna be there. I don't know. Parties aren't really my thing. Some really famous people come from time to time. So? I'd rather stay at home. It's time for her to get out there and explore. She's still a teenager. She's still in high school. You might as well have fun while you can before you go into the adult world and have more responsibilities. Up until her friends know exactly what buttons to press that will motivate Shine to attend the party. Did I mention all the free five-star food? Oh. And you're positive that it's free? Yep. Well then, if that's the case, then I'll go. The food better be ready for my stomach. This is a party with very popular and very wealthy people. And following up, she then bumps into a couple of attractive and sophisticated men. The main guys you'll need to focus on are Kyosuke, aka Q-Tip. You'll see why later why he's called Q-Tip. Yongji, and occasionally Dieter. Dieter? I'm just saying Dieter. Kosuke is a more posh and serious businessman. Yongji is a free-spirited, witty, and in some ways acts as a sort of bird locked in its cage sort of guy. And Dieter is the one who is openly attracted to Shine and is unfortunately rejected. Whoa, that hairstyle. He looks like a Q-tip. Hey, that's my tiramisu! Were you the one that tripped me? That's my cake. I got it fair and square. You better give it back. Give it back? With that sad, low-quality outfit of yours? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. How did you even get invited to this party? Have standards gotten that low? You're not even wearing a mask. You're one to talk. <laughs> Oops, my bad. I was aiming for my mouth. This suit is a custom dolce da leche. Do you have any idea how much this jacket alone costs? Ten thousand dollars? I need to get out of here. I should call Rika. Hello? Who's calling you? 
It's Shinne. Yo, Riga, can we go home now? What? It's only been two hours since we got here. Where are you? Did you get some food yet? Me and Maya are gonna be dancing a little longer. What? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Rika, it's Tim Hurdleston! What? Where? Gotta go, Shinne. I'll call you back in a bit. Don't lose sight of him! Wait, but I need to- What the- she hung up on me! Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Damn it! She's ignoring me! You okay there, mess? Need some help? I just want to leave this place. I'll give you a ride. Wait. Um... Oh, crap. See ya, you perv! Come back! I didn't mean it like that! Damn, you run fast. I didn't get to explain myself. Ah, you again! The perv from the ballroom! Are you stalking me or something? You're definitely following me, though. What do you want? I want to help you. I, I didn't mean to scare you earlier, and I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your phone conversation earlier. Okay, maybe I did, but... Anyway, I, I heard that you wanted to go home, but your friend is ignoring your call? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's right, but that's none of your business. And why would you want to help me anyway? You're not going to get anything out of this. I'm just bored. Bored? Yeah. When I said I wanted the help, I meant it. So here I am. What the heck is wrong with this guy? Okay, fine. So what is this help that you're offering? Well, first I was thinking of calling you a cab and paying for it. And second, prank your friends as payback for ignoring you. Hmm? Pranks? I'm in. As far as what happens in the story, that's pretty much the extent of what I'm going to show you guys because after that, a lot of things unfold. So if you think I gave spoilers right now, it's really just like the intro to everything. The introduction of the characters and Shinne just bumping into them. Now for you shippers out there, if you're looking for a more uh, lovey-dovey sort of fan service, it's very subtle in this story. It's very light. At least for me, this felt more about Shinne just fixing loose ends in her life with also the romance being in the back, which I love. Like. It's a nice change. And if you must know, my favorite is Yongji. Now every so now and then, the author throws in these sort of bonus chapters called Kosuke's Corner. These are sort of comic reliefs of all the characters, and mainly to tease Kosuke's character because he is the most serious, the most posh, the most businessman-like. And I really like how it just changes the mood every now and then. So for all of you that just want to pick at Kosuke, she's got it here. I really liked it because it was super charming and very subtle with the way that it handled its romance, unlike some other comics and novels out there where really they are just trying to trigger every button of a fangirl. With I Love You, it really prioritizes our female character and her problems. But overall, she's just this tomboy that happens to have sort of the affiliation with very attractive men who may or may not find her attractive as well. I am gonna say though, there is a certain parental character in here that is pissing me the F off, which is only making me love the story more if I really think about it because I'm super invested in how this is gonna be handled with this certain character. Now, for those of you that are just looking for more romance than what I've presented in this video, it is there. It definitely builds, but it's a very slow progression of love that you don't really know which way you really wanna go with Shinne here, but it will happen somewhere around like the chapter four. Uh, there, there's gonna be a little bit of a tasteful thing for you girls and guys out there. Otherwise, uh, what do you have to say, Shine? I guess people are gonna be reading into my personal life now. Indeed they are, but it's not so bad. Why do you say that? Because you're the star of the show, the girl who gets the glory, the fame. But I don't care about any of that. It doesn't matter. Your love story is available to thousands of people out there. Thousands? Maybe even millions. You mean they're reading me right now? You bet. On their phones, right? No. In the Webtoon app? <sighs> yes, I, I, I mean Shine on the Webtoon app. Uh, how are people getting a hold of the Webtoon app? And who the hell is Aki? Why, by downloading it in the App Store, of course. And I suppose you could say that's by following the link in the description below. It's as simple as one, two, seven. That's not how you number. And I refuse to believe it's that easy, because doing so would mean they get access to hundreds of comics updated daily. <laughs> oh, it's very true, believe me. And it's all free. Free? Free. Every comic? Yes. On the Webtoon app? Yes. Forever? Damn it, Shin! Yes, forever, for free, on the Webtoon app! But how- Shut up and eat this burger! <laughs> mm. 
Well, you heard them folks. So link will be in the description below if you guys want more information. Otherwise you guys can go download the webtoon app if you guys want to continue with I Love You. So let me know in the comment section guys, what do you guys think of I Love You? Have you read it? What other webtoons have you guys been reading? And I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more anime and otaku related content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!